fucking go. And it does look like Pomgard will take the assault to start with Jack taking the defense here. Two nice, interesting loadouts. Very interesting loadouts. Uh, very interesting loadouts indeed. A very, uh, not, I don't see any alchemists this time. Flames mixed in, of course. I, a lot of ISGs for Jack, which is interesting. I don't see a lot of ISGs these days. Honestly, I'm fucking psyched. This is going to be a good fight. Namcon's mixed in there as well. Then Ball Boys, of course, mixed in. I wear Sig. Sig also has his classic Ball Boys. Interesting strat they have uh, with, with Sig right now that they have going on. A, little, a couple of Tertios mixed in as well, since Jetsenjis are banned. Uh, some Tier 5 Archers as well for Jack. Uh, of course, with Flames uh, flames and Ball Boy combo. Specialty units uh, for one guy. It's, it's an interesting strat as well. Uh, also, Axe Raiders on the field. I'm not really sure how I feel about Axe Raiders. I'm not seeing a lot of Keshigs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not seeing a lot of Keshigs. I see three sets of Keshigs for Jekt, and I see... Wow. Two sets of Keshigs. Three sets of Keshigs. Three and three of Keshigs. Not a lot of Keshigs on the field. No Keshigs being brought out. I think everyone was expecting so much the Cav to come out that everyone brought Anti-Cav. Uh, very interesting to see. Let's see how different this fight is from our previous. I'm fucking ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fucking ready. Good luck, all. Good luck. I'm definitely throwing. I'm definitely gonna lose my voice after this. I'm guaranteed to lose my voice. Thank you for the follows, by the way, guys. Appreciate the follows coming in. So right off the bat, it does look like. The Pongar team will go for an arty strategy with a couple of guys rushing walls to set up and get ready in position. Uh, it does look like Jack will actually be holding A and trying to defend here, using arty to try to stop those towers. Actually, shoot down some of the units, get some kills real quick to try to soften them up. Uh, a lot of arty placement right now, nothing too crazy. I think this is a good, good, good place for us to start. I think this is a good loadout right here, like this good angle. Currently in the field, there's 1,200 units on the field right now to start for Pond, for, uh, for Pond Guard. And 1,165 on the field right now for uh, Jekt. It does look like a Treb will go off right away. Uh, instant Treb. Uh, trying to get some of those units on Tab right side that are shooting archers in range. And shooting at the towers. Trying to ante. They're using the cannons as well. It does look like Jekt will take some unit kill, unit loss here. A Treb, they are backing out. They see the Treb going off and they do back out of it. That Treb is wasted uh, by Pond Guard there. Already shooting traps, already trying to make it happen. A lot of range being fired. Jack is really shooting at them. They are do not want that tower to land. They're trying to anti the towers by as much time as possible. I think this is a lot more similar to the kind of strat we saw with Triarchy in the beginning with the anteing of the towers. A lot of units on the wall right now, really kind of baiting Trebs. Um, it could be really unfortunate, though, for Jekt if they do actually take some Trebs. The Scorpio is going off for Pongar, just slamming them with the Scorpio. Right now, unit kit loss is even. They Jekt does succeed in their goal, stops Tab right mid tower, forcing Pongar to go Tab left mid and or Tab. Tab left tower was not even pushed. Tab left mid tower is now the only tower landed. It's the only spot that Jekt now has to watch, given the advantage of Jekt here. Um, it does look like the ram is also moving quite slowly due to Shorpo uh, shooting at it. It does look like Pongar would probe it, but wait for towers. They're going to take their time here. They don't want to int on one tower. No one wants to do that. That's not the ideal strat. It does look like Maxis will run back for units. And they are going to cycle a little bit, uh, take their time, and push the tower again. Um, not ideal to not land your tower's initial push. But we'll have to see. Jack has to win here, though. As we spoke with Ryder, if they lose this match, they get pushed down to third place. They are not willing to give up their spot. They're doing everything they can to stay here and win the fight. And win the fight. They're going to do whatever it takes, ladies and gentlemen. So are Pongard, who are in first place. Hmm. A lot of rotations on the wall. Shropo is kind of pegging away here. A lot of you don't really see a lot of ranged heroes on the play on the field like you did with Chaco Paladins. Tab right to mid tower is now being pushed decisively. Will land pretty comfortably. Probably bought about 30 seconds for Jekt. And in terms of units lost, uh, it looks pretty even on unit loss. So um, nothing too crazy. Both matches still beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Matches still beginning. Do, two nights in Akumo take down a critical, trying to block the ram uh, units from, from, for that pushing to uh, let the towers land. Short bow and musket now harassing the shit out of that ram. That ram is going real slow, ladies and gentlemen, real slow. 
Excuse me, sorry about that. Zoning Treb confirmed. What were the bands? Senjis and Falconettis. So the Temperament Tower has now landed? I can't tell. It has landed, ladies and gentlemen. Both towers are now up. Ram has also finally reached the fucking wall. About time. Uh, seven minutes on the clock. It does look like now Pongard is getting their infantry heavy push ready to go. They're looking for both tower plays. They took their time. They didn't want to end into one tower, which is what Jack wanted them to do. They're playing smart. They have even strat. They're going for an even push here, forcing Jack to have to decide between the two towers. This could be a really nice play here for either Jack or Pongard. I'm going to actually go on the other side of the wall now and take a look and see what's going on. Uh, it does look like Tabrite Mid Tower will start getting musketed right away, getting harassed. Tab of Mid Tower is comfortably getting ready to go here. Two sets of Reapers there project with ISGs mixing with Florida Brachios. More Reapers on its way. Medow is watching Gay for any B side rush. They are expecting those Keshiks. Flames going from Tabloth Mid Tower through the little mid opening onto the ISGs that are blocking it comfortably. It does look like Sig, Reb, Akumo, and Sledge are getting ready for a push, but they're just kind of hanging on the wall, getting comfortable, getting ready. Palace Guards taking the front line here. Probing slightly. It looks like they accidentally sent them in a little bit. Terabyte Mid is also in full advance. They are going to go for a sandwich tactic here on Jack, who are going to get the sandwich. Terabyte Mid is going for a hard push. Bull Boy's throwing. Jasmine's throwing. Terabyte Mid is getting pushed out by Jack right now. Jack is also sandwiching them right now. Pongard now sandwiched on Terabyte Mid. Terabyte Mid has to push to save Terabyte Mid. Pongard is in a tough spot. Terabyte Mid. Jack, Chad Brightman is now being put, is now in a 1v1, and Tad Brightman is in a 1v1. They split their stacks. Tad Brightman wins their trade on the far side, but now Tad Brightman is now pushing it alone without Tad Brightman's support, who now have to run back over quickly to let Tad Brightman, to relieve Tad Brightman of their stress. Reaper's charging in from, wow, what a good strat by Jack here. Charging in from the far side on Tad Brightman as well, giving, trying to flank the flank of the flank. If that makes sense, can I get a question mark in the chat if it doesn't? Pogba does take A here decisively. Really good play, though, by Jack. They really tried that. That was actually pretty impressive, the, the strat. I like the strat. Pongard does take A here very decisively, ladies and gentlemen. Very decisively. Uh, they do win the exchange. It does look like four heroes are currently down for Jekt. Pongard really came to play. Jekt is still fighting on tab right mid uh, against Pongard, who is now pushing down to supply point. Take down Tuna's using their Maul skills, because Maul go Burr. Uh, Turbo cast casting going down. A lot of players just got wiped for Jack there. 180 units lost for Pongard. 369 lost for Jack. They've lost their exchange on A. Jack is now in full retreat back to home point, giving B, of course. Pongard taking their time. Real is uh, actually not taking their time. Going straight with heroes. Pull Look at the pull axe again going in. They're not taking any time. Looking to get any easy east they possibly can. Classic NA looking to fucking decide the, the two to devour whatever is left behind. Killing that mall off really quick. Go Goo Dash 1 goes down. Kicker JR is way overextended. He has five here, six here, seven here is chasing him. Does he bait them in? Is there a bait here? And there are four Brockios set up along with Impikes and Javelins ready to bait him in. It was a bait. I was almost baited. B-side, of course, taken decisively, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was a nice that was a nice win there by Pongard on the uh, exchange there. Jack had a really nice uh, plan though. I really liked their plan. That plan was good. It just didn't win. It just wasn't in time. Oh, when you guys see that, it's gonna be juicy. It does look like Jack will set up here on mid on uh, their set up their classic kill box as well. Watching the far tab left wall as well, throwing jab once like kicks was uh, when for cut chocolate paladins. It does. It does look like Pongard won't react to it though. They are not gonna be falling down the same path that uh, Triarchy went to. Reb the Brave is gonna go in solo and look to make a play with Gilcho and Critical and sit and he's not she's not gonna go in solo. I lied. Uh, she's gonna they're gonna probe a little bit but not go in. They're gonna just make bait them over there and hope for the best. Pion looking for an opportunity, two nice also looking for an opportunity. They don't really care about mid wall at this point in time. A couple muskets on the wall kinda hanging out right now. At this point in time, it does look like Jekt has set up heavily for home. Heavily. They are not giving any room to breathe here for Pongard. Pongard, who does not do the snowball tactic, takes their time themselves, uses the ISGs, baits out the dogs of the Tier 5 archers, and kills them. <laughs> Even yelling, I hear you. Keck W. Oh, shit. It does look like Pongard and <laughs> Jack will uh, just do some uh, classic ball boy throwing here and fuck around. And Tab of Wall, it does look like Apache will get 3v1 uh, left to drive uh, here. It does look like his homie, Ayoku, is trying to come help him, but it's, it's 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 not looking good. Does he Apache actually get out of it? Does he clutch it? I told you, this guy's pretty good. He can probably clutch this. 
He actually is clutching it at this point in time. I don't think he gets out of the Polax, though. Kumo's Polax is fucking deadly, and there it is. Rebel Brave finishes him off. Um, Pongard does secure the walls on Tab left side pretty decisively, which is expected. Uh, it does look like at this point in time, they're just trying to melt them, check it using their ranged uh, classes that they have available, and also their ranged units that they have available to kind of melt down Pongard here, who are looking to set up for a home point push and do a one spell swoop on them. It does look like Jack is on the flank here, looking to play as well. Let's take a quick look. Uh, Jekt is actually not here. They're still on top of the wall. They're not looking for flank at all, as a matter of fact. Yep. It does look like Jekt is uh, hard setting up for home, though, still. They have two muskets on the wall. Um, I mean, it's it, while it's good, I just they do have ball boys up there, so they're just throwing down. They don't need to be on the front line. They're literally tossing perfectly. And a nice little trip goes off. It does miss just by a couple inches. Pongard does go for a big push here. A lot of flames happening right now. This is going to be a big trade here. Like I said with the other fights, uh, this exchange really kind of decides the fight, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we're going to have to see how this goes down. There's the first death of the day for Red Bull Brave going down. Uh, Pongard really trying to win their exchanges here, but it does not look like it. It looks like uh, it does look like Jekt is able to push past with their heroes, going for the flames, going for that softer units that do a lot of damage. And they do. It does look like Jekt will clear Pongard here. Pongard really trying to fight and try to hold back line here. So does have a few heroes in play. You're trying to secure it. Uh, pretty even exchanges, as a matter of fact, actually. Actually, disregard that. Disregard that. Pongard is losing a lot of heroes. They do back out with what units they have left. Uh, looking to make a play. They do try to recover only four heroes on the field right now for Pongard. Uh, they do lose that exchange. Jack does hold the line. Flames Flames really do a great job there for Jack. Really kind of smoked them out. Uh, a lot of blue dead there for that. A lot of blue dead there. At this point in time, three heroes watching the on the left side for Pongard, who were watching the flying, making sure they didn't get the snowball attack that Chocolate Palins was doing the triarchy. Uh, now they're going to look for a reset, absolutely. Um, it does look like at this point in time, Jack takes the time to reset their own units, who also took some severe losses. At this point in time, 496 dead for Pongard, 625 dead for Jack. It's still anybody's ballgame, ladies and gentlemen. Pine Dash 1 looking for a play. Sledge Man 2 that's coming in hot. Look for Goo Dash 1, who's trying now to run away as a mall, looking for a scout. He does get away decisively, of course. My God. <laughs> Goo Dash 1 is really kind of probing, bro. He's really not playing with his life, ladies and gentlemen. He's really pulling with his life. These muskets, bro, they got me fucking dying on this wall, bro. They're just vibing, throwing some balls. Oh, that's, not, that's like six, like, wet dream, bro. <laughs> uh, very heavyweight fight so far. It does look like Jack will pressure the walls. Akumo take down Sig, responding decisively, watching out for it. Doesn't look like any play. Seven minutes on the clock right now. Pongard looking for an opportunity. 700 units on the field at this point for Pongard. 542 on the field for Jet. A lot of musket going off. Uh, I think Pongard is really just kind of clearing off the walls. Really kind of watching the back line. Trying to get a couple hero kills knocked out so they can make a play. Uh, right now, they really don't have it. Their back line is not secure and they don't want to risk it. Five heroes, seven heroes committing there for Pongard. Watching the back line. They are going to try to take out Patchy here. And they are looking to get some more heroes as well on this back line. Um, right now, Jekt is still pretty step on home. They do have a lot of range in their safe zone, ready to go. So, obviously, Pongard realizes that, does not want to push that. Uh, Pongard now ro rotating heavy. The central is going to try to make a play here probably soon. Uh, we'll have to see how this works out for them. It does look like Pongard will get that death ball going. It does look like Jekt is also getting their death ball going. They do not have enough, though. Pongard is going to make a huge push here. Jekt has still got heroes in the back line. Not really there. Trep, pre the Trep going off as well. Pongard now has to win their trade here. This is a big deal for Pongard and Jekt as well. Jekt getting slammed by the Trep. Holy shit. Right on top of the Fort of Brachio. I'm actually lagging. That's how many units are getting killed right now, ladies and gentlemen. Pongard really winning their exchange this time. Three heroes down for Jekt at this point in time. All heroes alive for Pongard. Jekt making a flanking play with Javs, looking to harass the back line, which they do decisively. Ayoko takes out SKW, who does not see it coming. And here is the Keshigs, ladies and gentlemen. It's about time. Keshigs go around the floor of Baku, and they go in. They go for the clear, and they get partial partial success. Four Bakus do hold. Pongard is hard on home here right now, ladies and gentlemen. Maximus is going for a hard push here. Look for two nice and seek the support with Gilcho. Ryder is the only one alive on point for Jack right now. Jack is down to three heroes, five heroes. They are going for a hard respawn. Pongard is locking the tunnel decisively here. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Sinek trying to make a play here. Jack does not see it coming. Uh, Pongard locking up that door decisively. Heroes trying to... Sinek is just... Look at him go, bro. He's bobbing and weaving. 
And uh, it does look like Pongard will try to force that tunnel. Uh, and they're at three fourth cap, ladies and gentlemen. It's a tough fight here for Jack. They might take the loss here. They have no real flanking play. There's not a lot of hope right now. The door is just locked up. They have to push through that. It's not enough time. Pongard does walk away with a decisive W there, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice job there. Really big play there by Pongard. Really good death ball. Uh, Jack was just too, uh, had too many guys not on the not really in the death ball. They were not set up. And uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's totally it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Zell yelling? That's literally me. I'm from New York, but that's what I do. That's what I do. Sledge man walking with the MVP here for Pongard, ladies and gentlemen. Take down and Little Teen Pregnancy following up very decisively. Honestly, who the hell is Little Teen Pregnancy? The guy changed his name. I don't know who it is anymore. He's at my friends list. I don't know who it is. Kind of, kind of funny, bro. Kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but very nice job there. Very nice job by nice both teams. Jack had a good strat, bro. I liked Jack's strats. I thought that was good. I thought that was good. Heather walking with the MVP for Jack. Kicker Snedek taking second place with Turbo Kazakhstan following closely behind. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, hero kills is pretty uh, pretty even here. I mean, Pongar has a, definitely has a few more, but in terms of hero kills, um, it was a pretty close fight in terms of actual unit count. Like they had a big push. Like there were units still on the field. Jack just got kind of caught with their pants down there for about thirty seconds, and Pongar just reacted as we just saw. Um, that was a huge. Also, that trebuchet on the four brackers was fucking huge, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking huge. Honestly, it was just really uh, that was a, that was a big treb. Uh, it was a really big treb. Probably won them the fight, as a matter of fact. Because that's four they just they, they annihilated. There's nothing they could do. Uh, let's look at the post battle analysis real quick. I mean, Jack did a really nice strat here on A. Um, of course, PG played it smart, waiting for both towers to land. Went for a went for a pincer here from tab left mid and tab right mid. But Jack had guys on tab left far looking to pincer the pincer, which is pretty poggers, pretty poggers. And then of course you had Jack on tab right mid as well with two sets of reapers that were late, unfortunately. They were they were late. Uh, flanking in the flank tab right mid. So the flanks of the flanks were being flanked. Honestly, it was pretty good to see. I really kind of enjoyed it. I think it's really funny. And I think Jack could have possibly won there if they were there in time, but they just weren't. And uh, PG, of course, you know, they, they really love those death balls. They cannot, it's really hard to fuck beat them when they have that death ball going. Especially if Kumo and his pullbox is fucking deadly. And uh, of course, B was for free. Uh, no one defends B. Look at this push here. I mean, look at this. This is just a bloodbath. This came down to big exchanges. That initial push by Ponger getting completely wiped by Jack, who was completely in position, ready to go, feeling absolutely juicy.